If you want lots of hummingbirds in your yard, you should offer them, in addition to feeders, a smorgasbord of tubular flowers. We let the jewel weed run riot in a shady back corner of the property, and boy do the hummers find us during fall migration. And they aren't very shy either. Oh, they're secretive about their nesting sites, of course, but other than that, they'll let you peek at their world. Why, you silver-tongued little devil, you. Do you suppose he's testing the direction of the breeze, as we might with a wet finger? Or just making sure the equipment's in good working order? Because that tongue is his survival. People used to think that hummingbirds sucked nectar, like through a straw. Not so. Their tongue is forked, and each prong has rounded edges. Picture a fleshy tube designed to open and then clamp shut tight enough to hold liquid. Now imagine that tongue and fast forward because they can dip it into nectar 20 times a second. You can kind of see that it's forked. I wonder if some of those tongue flicks are attempts to catch passing insects. Those hummers are dead on aims with their beaks and tongues. They zip from bloom to bloom, threading another needle every second. If you've ever wondered why they're always switching stations on your feeders, it's not because they're hoping to find a new flavor at the next station. It's because they're hummingbirds. That's what they do. Until finally they do have to rest. And they perch more than half the time, but hyper as they are, they even rest busily. They look around constantly for other hummingbirds that might be spoiling for an aerial dogfight. Because whether male, female, or juvenile, they are always ready to tangle. It's funny, though, that their squabbles never seem to come to blows. They circle each other, fainting and jabbing like welterweights on uppers. But before any actual body contact happens, one of them decides to, like, go drink some more nectar. Good thing, too, because if they actually went at it, their wings might get tangled up like helicopter rotors. The hummingbird's erect posture reminds me of a seahorse, except that seahorses at least have water to hold them up. These ruby-throated hummingbirds stand up on thin air, lounge around on thin air, until they decide to shoot off like a bullet. You'll usually hear the ruby throat soft, high-pitched chirps before you see them. They'll be trilling contentedly as they eat, or twittering excitedly as they fight. One way or another they do, albeit softly, announce themselves. If you tune your ears to their decibel level, 